And welcome back to this new Pizza Duray Geometry Node setup. Let's create some neon stuff and jump right in. Okay, here we are in the Easy Neon setup now, and I want to show you really quick what you can do with this one. Um, yeah, you can uh, select here the Easy Neon uh, setup, and the first thing is uh, we can change here the typo to something like this. And we have um, for the whole neon stuff 15 letters. Um, I thought 15 letters are <laughs> enough for uh, one neon word, but if you need more, um, yeah, I uh, please write me a message and I can change this for you. Now let's uh, bring this back here to easy because that's our demonstration <laughs> word here now. Um, we can change here, we will show you here uh, the wireframe or we can change here the horizontal uh, resolution, the vertical, um, and we can do the same here for um, the curve as well, um, which are here uh, on our neon here. So, and we can always change uh, the preview from off to on. So when we are doing this, um, we will get a low res version of our neon and when we are changing back here to zero um, the values from this one will work again and in this uh, state here um, we have some low res values okay so let's work with this uh, one here now we have uh, the option to uh, for an extrusion so when we are enabling this uh, you can see we can change here the extrude depth or we can change if we want to here the extrusion subdivision when we have some round stuff here we need a little bit more of subdivisions um, that's uh, for this and when we want to uh, we can change here the material of uh, of the extrusion. We can enable here an inner plane, which is here inner plane on and off, and we can change here the uh, yeah the position of this as well. We can change uh, the material, and we can uh, change here the cap radius if we want to and the cap resolution. Okay, and the next one will be here some cables. When we are enabling this, you can see we have here some cables. And if we want to change here the cables, we can go here into the assets, select this one and go here into the edit mode uh, by pressing tap. And now when we are here in the edit mode, we can easily um, use here this pen and yeah, draw another cable if we want to or put some cable stuff here. If this is here in the back, we can select these points here and bring them a little bit more here into the front if we want to. But we can um, go here into the settings for the whole thing and change here the cable position as well if we want to yeah other setting is we can change here the subdivisions of the cables uh, if we need more subdivisions we can do this we can change here uh, the cable material here as well so and let me disable the whole thing here so we can concentrate now here on the whole neon stuff. Here's our first letter 
And yeah, we can easily adjust here uh, the neon, um, the neon start and the neon end. We can adjust here the cuts. If you increase the cuts, you will get a better result of um, yeah the resolution. That's that's the cuts are the resolution. Uh, we can adjust here the holders, uh, how many we want to have here, and uh, the start holder position and end holder and i updated um this version now so you can go here to uh, the letters if you have two um yeah two lines if you have a uh, inner and outer line now you can easily adjust here um the inner line if you have one by uh, some letters like an O or an A or a B or something like this, then you can adjust here <coughs> the inner and uh, yeah the uh, outer outer lines um, by itself. Yeah, and if you want to change here uh, the typo, you have to go to the geometry notes tab. Uh, select here this typo thing, press tab, and then you can go here and select another font which you want to have. Um, but then you have to adjust the whole thing again. So um, keep in mind that you uh, change or that you choose your favorite font at the beginning. That was my Easy Neon Geometry Node setup. If you want to check it out or support my channel, you can get this one on Gumroad or on Blender Market. See you there and bye.